Number 11 then from the 2018 SQA Higher Maths Paper 2. Six mark question on these exponential equations here, these growth decay equations. Yes, it involves logs, but I suppose that's when it involves logs in its less scary form, because you're only using log really to get rid of E, using log as the inverse of the exponential function. So it describes a situation in a supermarket waiting at the checkout. During any half hour period, the percentage P, so P is the number of the percentage, so you don't write it over 100, it's the actual value of the percentage, who wait for less than T minutes, so T is in minutes, can be modelled by this equation. And so for four marks here in part A, if 50% wait for less than three minutes, what's K? So let's just put the numbers in. 50%. I know that number, I know that number, I know that function. I don't know K, but I know T is 3. So pop in the 50, pop in the 3, and you get a mark. Now all you've got to do is solve that equation. There's only one unknown, and there's only one mention of that unknown, so you can get at it by peeling off all the bits and pieces. Get rid of the 100, get rid of the 1, get rid of the E, and get rid of the 3. So, you could reverse it, but I don't like that negative thing, I'll keep it on this side. Take the 100 and cross and divide, and that'll be a half. But you're better off putting it as a decimal, because you know in the end you'll be using logs and so on, it won't work out nicely. It's equal to 1 minus E to the 3K. Now you're not going to get a mark for every single stage. Now bring that over so it's nice and positive. So e to the 3k will be 1 minus 0 0.5, which is still 0 0.5. That gets you the next mark. Now you've got to get rid of that e. Now there's several ways. The simplest way is to do the inverse. If you had sine x equals 0.1, your next line would be immediately, so apply the inverse will be inverse sine of 0.1. Same here, the inverse of exponential is log. So 3k will be log base n, that's that ln, natural logarithm, of 0 0.5. That's worth a mark. Now there is an alternative way of getting rid of that, and that is to apply the logarithms to both sides. And you can do what you like to both sides. You can even do log base 10, for instance, here. You could say, oh, if it took your fancy, but it shouldn't. Log base 10 of e to the 3k is log base 10 of 0 0.5. Obviously you wouldn't choose log 10, but I'm just saying that would make no difference. You would choose log base e, so it knocks that out. Because once you've got a logarithm with a power, that could pop out. The 3k times log base 10 of e is log base 10 of 0.5, and of course that's just a number, you press the buttons in your calculator, that's just a number, so then you divide by 3. But I wouldn't do that, you'd simpler just doing the inverse. So you're almost there. So k is going to be, take the 3 across and divide, either that over 3 or a third of it, ln of 0 0.5, type it in. And when you type it in, you get a negative number, of course, because that's a smaller number than e, negative 0 0.23104, and so on. So I'll just write that as negative 0 0.231 for the last mark. So part B then, calculate the percentage of customers who wait for five minutes or longer. Now you have to watch that, five minutes or longer, because you may not have noticed that in the first part it said for less than t minutes. Not less than or equal to, but less than t minutes. So when it says how many queue for five minutes or more, you'll have to take away those that queue for less than five. So you'd probably start it off the same way. You'd work out the percentage putting a five in. So that's 100 times 1 minus e to the, you know this number already, negative 0 0.231 times 5. You'd put that in, naturally anyway, and you'd get an answer because you just see the number five minutes and you see T for minutes, so you pop it in and you put it in your calculator. And if you do that, you get 68.494 and so on. So I'll just round that off to 68.5. Notice I'm not putting a percent sign there because P stands for the numerical value of the percent. Now that's worth a mark, obviously, for putting that in, but that's not the answer. T stands for those that wait less than T minutes. So 68.5% wait for less than five, which means that those waiting for five or more will be the balance. 
still queuing. Funny looking word, isn't it? Still queuing will be 100 minus 68.5, which will be 31.5% for the last mark.